SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. On March 16, 2010, there was a protest organized to the National Assembly in Abuja. Where is the outrage? Young people have been too quiet that we are on social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, complaining about the country but not doing anything. So that really is how EIE came to be. In January 2010, so it was the fifth annual Future Awards, um, Mrs. Ngozi Okonjewala was keynote speaker. And during the course of her speech, she basically said that um, for the change that young people want in Nigeria, they have to basically take charge because we have a demographic advantage. Fast forward a few weeks, uh, at the time Mr. President was missing. We weren't, she was ill, we knew, but we weren't sure what was going on. Um, there were lots of killings in Joss, and um, there was forced scarcity at the same time. So a young man called uh, Chude Jijon was sent an email basically saying, the title of the email was, Where is the Outrage? And his point was that young people have been complaining about the country but not doing anything. Meanwhile, those like Wale Shoenka were on the streets protesting and making their voices heard. And his call was that we take our complaints and our voices beyond social media and small groups and take it to the streets. There was a protest organized to the National Assembly in Abuja. And the call were very simple. Um, we wanted Mr. Um, Goodluck Jonathan to be made substantive president, which was what the law required since the president were not on seat. We can't get on the streets every time we're upset, so what do we want to do? One of the things we're very clear about at EIE is that we're targeting not every young Nigerian, because we can't, we don't have the resources, we don't have time. But we've decided to focus on the young Nigerians that have access to technology. Look at it this way. Now, your thumb is your only finger that can touch every other finger, very simply. Your other fingers can do it. They will try, but they will struggle. And the idea is, if you see yourself as the thumb of a hand, you understand the issues, you get the information. Find four people who are not online and educate them. So it's not the whole buzz about, oh, it's an, just an online movement, you're talking to yourself. It's not true. Yes, we're very clear that we only focus on people who have access. But it's that you take the information that you learn and then you take it offline. We're shifting a little bit. So EIE started primarily as a coalition of organizations, just because of the way we were founded and the protest and what, what led to its formation. Um, but we find that it, it would probably be able to do a lot more and reach a wider network of people if it focuses more on being a coalition of individuals. Good governance, accountability, transparency were our, our, our watchwords. But what I liked about EIA was it was different in their approach. They started out as a loose group. It wasn't an NGO per se. Um, it was a coalition of different people and people that were interested. Mainly people that NGOs normally don't talk to. So you wouldn't talk to corporations, for example, with regards to political participation. It's very non-sexy. But EIE was able to pull those people in and make everybody understand that, you know what, this is our collective responsibility and our right as citizens. And that is what I find very interesting about EIE. I will register, I will select carefully, I will vote wisely, I will protect my votes. I'll be two-faced Dibia. You serve, go out there, register, select, vote, protect. To Baba say so. Our main campaign is RSVP and everything really falls under RSVP in a sense. If 18 to 35 year olds are such a large part of the population, then our voice and our voting power would also go a long way. So we decided to focus on elections. And it was in the process that the RSVP name was coined. And for us, it was just simple. I mean, yes, it connotes rice and stew very plenty, which we knew Nigerians would remember. But more importantly, we thought to focus on the four key things that young people needed to do to participate in the process. So R starts for register, so you have to register. You turn 18 in Nigeria, you're eligible to vote, make sure you participate in that process. Unlike 2011, the registration process for this election has been quite poor. So we created a portal called um, govote.ng. And the idea of the campaign is to encourage Nigerians to register, to pick up their permanent voters card, and to go out on elections day to exercise their civic responsibility. And you can see more about it at govo.ng. So since INEC doesn't have a place where people who are having challenges can complain directly, we've created a web portal. So whatever challenges people have, they can complain there. S, select wisely. Some 
elections have 11 candidates, some have 30, depending on where you are. So we're hosting a presidential debate in Abuja, and then we're doing a debate in each of the geopolitical zones. So Lagos, Imo, Plateau, Kaduna, Rivers, and Taraba State. V, on election day, get out of your bed, your comfort zone, actually go out and vote. It's enough to register, but if you don't vote on election day, it really doesn't mean much. We also have Revoda, which is a mobile application. Revoda was created over a weekend in 2011. And Revoda is EIE's application for, for citizens to monitor the results or how the performance of the elections at their polling units um, on elections day. So for 2015, we want to focus on results. So the idea is to provide a platform where cit um, citizens can report the results from their polling unit. So it's almost a parallel check to what INEC eventually announces. So for us, election is a process. There's election day, which is one event. But then there's the four years in between when they're in office. So P is really not only protecting your vote on election day, but in the four years in between, paying attention to the way government is run, to the way your money is spent, and what your officers are doing to hold them accountable. So we have shineyoureye.org, which is a platform we've created to engage. I mean, your local government, in your state, in your senatorial district, engage. I mean, there's a senator in Lagos State, for example, who holds a town hall meeting every quarter. I attended one of them last year, and it was interesting because it was more or less like a party meeting, because most of the people she represents didn't show up. So her party members showed up, it was a big jamboree, they danced, they took two questions from the audience, it was a town hall meeting, they took two questions from the audience, and everybody went home. Can you blame her? Maybe she could have tried harder, but at the same time, there's also responsibility on the part of the citizens to show up. There is a pothole on my road. Or oh, there was. It was a pretty big one. People say that a problem is not a problem till it becomes a serious problem. And one day, it did. It had rained that day, and a bus full of our children was passing the road. The driver was new, and he didn't realize the pothole was there till it was too late. He swerved to avoid it and ended up running into a tree. Hmm. Thankfully, nothing happened to the children, but <laughs> the driver was not so lucky. It was a tragic wake-up call for all of us. We called a meeting to do something about it. Who is supposed to fix this road, eh? Give me a moment. Mm -hmm. I'll check. We checked online, and as it turns out, it was the local government. The chairman was appalled by what had happened. One of the things we found that works is when people realize that their effort yields results. So there's one thing to talk and chat, and there's one thing to complain. But when you realize that my complaint actually gets people to react, then people are excited. But I always try to remind people that think of them as your employees. And I think if we, honestly, if, if Nigerians saw public officials as their employees, it would demystify a lot of the sort of hero worshipping. I mean, if you do your job, there's no reason for me to dance. So when politicians come and uh, commission roads or donate boreholes, and then expect the whole town to turn up in Ashwebi singing and dancing, it really baffles me. Because you've spent my money to do the job I employed you to do. I really don't understand the need for dancing. The creation of EIE being a coalition and um, the rise of the use of social media and the increase of internet availability in Nigeria, um, I think work very well together. So success in terms of more awareness, more conversations, yes. Um, are we where we are where every citizen understands that people who work in government work for them? Or where they understand that government is actually set up to serve their needs? No. We're far from that. But it's part of the challenge of um, Nigeria's young democracy. Hi guys. If you just enjoyed watching that video and you want to stay up to date with the latest in entertainment, lifestyle and more from inside Africa, why don't you hit the subscribe button right now? And if you want to keep on watching videos, then just simply hit the more videos button.